Hey guys, welcome to Android Mate. In this video, we are going to create a voice and video call app with the help of Zigo Cloud. So let's check out Zigo Cloud SDK for more details. For that, you open Google and search Zigo Cloud. Click on the first link and you will be redirected to the Zigo Cloud's official website. To build our voice and video call app, we are going to integrate Zigo Cloud SDK. With the help of Zigo Cloud, we can easily integrate the voice and video call functionality without writing much code and it's developer friendly. Zigo Cloud also provide other API like live streaming, in-app chat, virtual avatar, AI effect etc. Zigo Cloud supports 18 programming languages and frameworks with comprehensive quick start guides, tutorials, API references, and sample codes. So without wasting much time, let's get started. For that we have to sign up with Zigo Cloud click on sign up button. I also would like to tell you that Zigo Cloud also provide free credit of 10,000 minutes. Let's quickly fill up the required details to create an account. Again you will be getting a small form which you have to fill. Then click on go to dashboard button. On the dashboard, you can see utilized minutes and other details. To get started click on create your first project. Since we are integrating voice and video call functionality. So select voice and video call option and click next. Enter your project name. After that there are two ways to get started. First option makes the implementation quick with less customization and if you want to fully customize our app you can go with the second option. Since we are going to create a basic app, we will select the first option that is UI Kits. Then select for Android option since we are making an Android app. Select one to one call option since we are creating a one to one video call and voice call app. Since we are using free trail, we cannot use premium functionalities. Scroll down and click on save and start to integrate. Here you will get your app ID and app sign, which we are going to use further. Now click on go to admin console. Then select voice and video call option. Then click on view guide. Here is the complete documentation. Then from the left hand side, select quick start with call invitation. With reference to the following documentation we are going to create our app. To continue further, let's create an Android project for that open Android studio. Then click on new project. Then select no activity and click on next button. Then give a name to your project and select the language of the project which is Java. Then click on finish button. Let's get started now. We will first expand all the required files. Create an activity and name it main activity. We need one more activity and we are going to name it calling activity. Let's add an image in our project which we will further implement in the project. Before proceeding, let's add the dependencies. For that go back to the documentation page. Note, if your Android Gradle plugin is 7.1.0 or later, then copy the link, I am copying. Or else you have to copy the below link. Then open your project's root directory. Open the settings.gradle file to add the JIT pack to dependency resolution management inside repositories and click on sync. After sync, go back to the documentation page. Scroll down and copy the dependencies and paste it in build.gradle file. Then click on sync. We have now added all the required dependencies. Let's now create the UI of the app. Open main activity layout file. I won't be explaining you the UI files. However, I will provide you the files link in description.
Also let's design the calling activity screen. Now let's add functionality to our code and we are going to start with the main activity so open main activity. Let's declare the required variable that is our edit text field and proceed button. Now initialize the edit text field and proceed button. Then set an on click listener on the button. Inside the listener, we are going to create a string type variable to store the username which we will get from the edit text field. Then we are going to create a if condition to check that username field is not empty, or else return. Inside if condition we are going to execute a function which takes username as a parameter. Then outside on create function, create a proceed service function which takes user id as a parameter. Here we are using user id as a parameter because Zego Cloud function requires a user id parameter and in our case a username as a user id. Then go the documentation of Zego Cloud to copy the code snippet of the function. And paste it inside the proceed service function. Import all the functions by clicking alt enter. Here I am removing the comment and username since it's not required for now. If you want you can keep the comments. Then initialize the function with the required credentials. You will get the app ID and app sign from the Zego Cloud Admin Console. Copy paste it here. Then we are going to create a onDestroy method. Then go back to the BTN on click listener. Inside that we are going to create intent to redirect user to calling activity and we will also pass the username with it. We are done coding the main activity now. Now let's code the calling activity. Open calling activity. Declare the required variables. Then initialize these variables. Now we are going to create a string type variable to store the username which we have passed through intent from the main activity and then we will set it to txt user text field. Now we are going to create two functions, one for voice call and one for video call. Both the function will be almost same, however you just have to set false to set as video is visible method in voice function. Then we will add a text watcher on the edit text field to manage the visibility of the voice and video call button. Inside on text changed method we will write our code. Firstly we will create a string type variable to store the username which user will enter. So if user enter the value on edit text field then we will call both the functions. And pass calling user to them as a parameter. I forgot to make changes in themes. Let's remove the action bar from it. For that open themes and make the following changes, also I am changing the color of the status bar. We have done the coding part and now we are ready to test our app. To test the functionality, I am using two different phones.
So as per the demo the app is working fine. I hope this was helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos.